I've just found a great WordPress online store team and I want to share it with you. I have the team right here called Mortar Team. As you can see, it is looking clean, professional and appealing. So this is the team I'm going to be showing you in today's video. It's just going to be an introductory video. However, if you like it at the end and want me to make a complete tutorial showing you how you can use it to create an online store, you can leave your comments in the comment section below. So the first thing I do is show you how to install this team. Before you get this team, first of all, you need to make sure that you have a fresh installation of WordPress, which I already have here. So to get this team, I open up a new browser. Then I go over to dikupages.com forward slash mortar. You also find this link in the description down below. I hit enter and it will bring us to this team right here. That is mortar multi vendor and marketplace WordPress team. With this team, you can create any kind of e-commerce website, be it a single business e-commerce website or a multi vendor e-commerce website where you can allow other sellers to sell on your website so that you get a commission anytime they make a sale. As you can see, over 1,400 users have purchased this team at the time of recording this video. You can also go down to see some of the features of the team. As you can see right here, for this demonstration, I will be showing you how you can do the installation and also navigate the team. So we don't really need to waste time on the features here. And the price for this team is only $39 at the time of recording this video. Upon paying this $39, there's no renewal fee whatsoever you can use it as long as your e-commerce website is active so all you need to do is add it to the cart then you go ahead and check out upon buying the team the next thing you want to do is come over to your name here then go ahead and click on downloads from here you see your team right here all you need to do is drop down the arrow here then you go ahead and click on installable wordpress file only so i click on it and you see that it is being downloaded right here come back then you go ahead and download the license certificate and purchase code. You can download the PDF version or the text version. For this demonstration, I will download the text version. Now that I have the team downloaded, the next thing I do is head back to my WordPress dashboard. From here, I click on appearance. Next, I go ahead and click on add new team. Then I click on upload team. From here, I choose my file. I have the team right here. I select it. Then I go ahead and click on open. It is uploaded. I click on install now. It may take time to install depending upon how fast your internet connection is. All right, the team is installed successfully. The next thing I do is go ahead and click on activate. The team is activated successfully. The next thing you may want to check out is this notice here. As you can see, we need to install all these plugins to be able to use the team effectively. So what I do is go ahead and click on begin installing plugins. From here, I select all the plugins, drop down the arrow and the bulk actions, click on install, then I click on apply so that all these plugins will be installed. All the plugins are installed. Next, I return to plugins installer. Then I go ahead and select all again, drop down the arrow and the bulk actions, click on activate, then I click on apply so that all these plugins will be installed. Now all the plugins are successfully activated. Now if I go to the front end of my website, this is how it will look like. You see that it doesn't look appealing. So I go back and I'm going to go ahead and import a demo content onto my website. Now to import the demo, we need to install the plugin that will enable us to do that. To do that, you will find a link in the description down below that will take you to this very page. From here, you go ahead and click on Show Demo Importer right here, which will open in a new tab. And the download has started. I can exit from here and here as well. Next, I go back to the back end of my website. Then I go over to Plugins, click on Add New Plugin. Next, I click on Upload Plugin. I can easily go here. Then I go ahead and drag in the plugin, click on install now. The plugin is installed. I go ahead and click on activate. Next, I go ahead and import my demo data. So I go over to appearance, then I click on import demo data. Going down, these are the various home pages the team comes with. As you can see, 
choosing any of this will depend upon the style you want the home page one home page two as well as home page eight are good for multi-vendor e-commerce websites however you can use any of them whichever way you want you are not limited to using a particular home page for whatever e-commerce website you want to create for this demonstration let's go ahead and import the home page one so i click on import it should be noted that how long it takes will depend upon how fast your internet connection is so let's wait for a moment for it to finish importing all right import completed successfully now if i go to the front end of my website initially this is how boring it was if i go ahead and refresh we will now have this new look and feel perfect as you can see there is this proper you can use to generate this i exit it for now going down you see how clean the team is perfect starting from the top you see the top bar which you can use to display your coupon codes that is if you are going to be using coupons there's a menu here where you can track your order go to a health center compare products and also view your wish list it has a logo at the left hand side beautifully displayed a search field in the middle of the page an account link that will take you to your dashboard as well as cat icon you see that upon clicking inside the search field that's already opened some trending product i may have with this you can add your most popular products right here awesome the left hand side menu that is shot by category is where all the categories are being displayed beautifully as you can see we also have the main menu where you have mega menus being displayed with this slider you can use it to showcase some products you have on your shop going down we have a section for some categories and the next section is where we have flash deals take note you can display whichever product you want right here down here we have some more categories and you can play with them whichever way you want it should be noted that the pages are being created or designed using your favorite page builder that is elementor so if you are already comfortable with Elementor, you can easily go ahead and design your pages with that. Now let me take you to the shop page so that we see how it looks like. Going down, this is how the shop page looks like. At the left hand side, we have our filter by category, price, storage capacity, and this one will depend upon the kind of products you are selling. It doesn't really matter. You can go ahead and customize all this depending upon how you want it users can also filter based on customer ratings we also have size and what have you now let's take a look at how a single product page will look like i'll just right click here open link in the new tab because i don't want to lose this page so let's go there this is how a single product page will look like with this users can easily go ahead and add a product to the cart or they can just go ahead and click on buy now which will take them to the cart and you see that the display here is looking very clean as you can see going down we also have similar product you see how neatly they are being displayed perfect now one other thing i like about this team is that when i scroll down on top right here you see that i have this bar right here where you said can easily go ahead and add the product to the cart or just go ahead and click on buy now now if i begin to scroll up you see that it has gone off again so it will depend upon how far you've gone on the page that is where it will be displayed now that we have seen a single product page let's go ahead and see a variable product page right click open link in a new tab i can go ahead and close this one going down as you can see i won't be able to add the product to cart until i select a color and then size so if i select maybe silver you see that it's still not active but if i select any size that is available you see that the add to cart button is active as well as the buy now button and this is kind of cool so now let me add the product to the cart let's see how our cart page will look like as you can see this is how it will be displayed successfully added to cart and now the website is suggesting more product i may be interested in so if i don't want any of this i can just go ahead and view the cart or check out for now let's view the cart this is how the cart page will look like from here if i want to increase the number of quantity i can do that and you see that it is updated 
you don't really need to click on any other button to update your quantities now i click on proceed to checkout and this is how the checkout page looks like as you can see my email is already on top here and this is good if you say try to abandon their account you can easily capture their emails and send them reminders that they have left their account they can still go ahead and purchase the product with this you can even send them a coupon to entice them to buy the product another feature i want to show you is this now if i go over to a mobile view you see that i have this menus right here down below where users can easily navigate without going to the menus here so that is the Mota multi-vendor e-commerce team in a nutshell i just want you to have a feel of the team now if you want me to make a complete tutorial on this team as to how you can use it to create your online shop let me know in the comments down below and i'll definitely go ahead and make the tutorial for you